So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can make manager mode much more fun or even player career mode, very simple to do. So first things first, what I like to do is select some players uh, that I want to have inside of my manager mode uh, that will be pretty fun to use and make the max stats. So we're gonna go into settings here and then I go down to edit real players. Now, my favorite player is Ronaldo, so I like to do this every year with Ronaldo for my career modes is I could choose his international or his club team. It doesn't matter, the teams uh, would be the same synced with the international teams. So you don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna choose Cristiano Ronaldo right here. And then what you could do is change like his position, his attributes right here, so his stats, as well as how his kit is, if he wants to wear gloves, or if you want to change the whole boots for the character itself. So I just put on the Macarios right there and then you could save it by clicking the start button and then that there you go now after you do that with the certain players that you have you can go into manager mode or career mode or player career or even offline games it does not really matter there so we're going to go into manager career and start a new manager career over here now when you're doing this make sure that you are going to be using current squads don't choose initial squads, don't download the latest, make sure it's the current squad options so that you keep those upgraded stats that you just put on your players. And then you could just choose a real manager or you could choose a your own created one. Does not really matter. And we're gonna get into things. Now, when you get into the settings here, make sure that transfers are on, scouting is on, training plans is on, difficulty, put it at something that you actually play on. If you put it on beginner, it won't be very fun. So I would put it at something like at least professional if you're a decent player at the game or maybe try amateur and work your way up to like world class. But just for the fun of it, we're gonna keep it at professional. Financial takeover, make this sure this is turned to one billion. Board expectations, uh, you could keep it on no sacking. What this means is that you will not get kicked out of your club for having any, uh, doing anything bad or anything. So you stay with your club at your whole time. So that's what I would like to do just in case uh, things happen that are not in your control. And then we're gonna go to match here, set it to four minutes, and then you could adjust the tournament matches and then the player quality. So. This is very good. I just could keep it on full potential. And then for simulation, uh, you could just keep it off. It's not important. And then for the training plans and all of this, uh, you could just keep it at default and normal. So you can keep that adjusted. But what you could do is to develop uh, your seniors faster and then develop your youth slower. This could be pretty cool if you're bringing in players or you could just make them both fast so you can get those younger players more uh, experienced into the game of football much quicker for your club. And then for transfers, you just make sure, like I said, it is active. Uh, transfer negotiations, if you want to keep it so it's easier, you can keep it at light. If you want it like realistic, so it's gonna be much harder, you can keep it at realistic. It's dependent on what you want and how you want to play your career mode. So we're just gonna keep it at light. And transfer approaches, we can keep that at loose, scouting on, search players on, and then all of this, so just keep out the basic instant. General settings, like I said, uh, if you want to play for an international team at the same time as a manager, uh, you can, for example, manage your club as well as manage an international team like England. So you could do that on the side as well in the same manager mode. So if you want that on, you could turn it on. I just turn it off because I want to focus on the club. Currency is honestly up to you. I just like keeping it at euros and then you can click apply. Now, once you're done that, you can load into the manager mode and you will be able to see that if you go under squad here and we will see the team management section now i have the 99 ronaldo here so it's just a little bit more funny if you want to have like fun with these players so hopefully this helps you get a better experience in manager mode or player career mode in fc25 if you have any other questions comments or concerns be sure to leave it in the comment section down below it's been your boy optic i catch you guys on my next one goodbye